Lens surgery has been around for a long time. As a matter of fact, it's been around for 200 years. And we've gone through a lot of stages of advancing that lens surgery. And the last big one was 35 years ago when we used ultrasound to actually break up the lens and remove it, which now everybody does in the world. But now we can actually take a laser and do the manual parts that were kind of done by hand. And any time that we can go from a procedure that's been very successful manually and provide the computers and the lasers that make it more accurate, safer, more precision, it's always a step forward. And this is a breakthrough we've been waiting for for a long time. It really goes back about 10 years ago when a laser called a femtosecond laser was developed uh, for LASIK and it revolutionized LASIK surgery because of the precision that we're able to uh, employ when creating the LASIK flap. So we could, for the first time, customize how we can make the flap for a particular patient. Every part of the procedure, when we do a lens replacement surgery, whether it's cataract surgery or refractive lens exchange, it's completely manual. Uh, it's me with different instruments, blades, um, going into the eye, removing the lens, and implanting a new lens. And certainly over time, we get very good at it, uh, get very skilled at it, but if you can employ a laser to uh, do certain parts of this procedure, to make it now a standardized, precise, very accurate um, part of the procedure, now we can improve safety, we can improve outcomes, and we can take um, the surgery that we've been doing and take it to the next level. The problems that we have in our 40s when our arms start getting too short and reading glasses and, and bifocals, that's the beginning of the lens losing its function and it ends up in a cataract someday. So a cataract is kind of the end stage of the dysfunctional lens. So nowadays, um, especially with the generation that is looking to improve themselves and not grow older, if we can improve the lens at an earlier age, we also prevent cataracts down the road. So people are very uh, interested in getting a better lens in their eye to, to focus better, get rid of reading glasses and bifocals, and also prevent cataracts. So this kind of stabilizes the visual system so we don't have to worry about some of those aging changes. So patients are very interested in modern lens surgery. So if I look at myself now, if I need to have lens surgery, which we all will in the future, absolutely. It's going to be a laser lens correction that I have, and this is something that uh, is going to continue to build um, momentum with uh, several companies actually developing uh, similar lasers, and so this is eventually going to become the way we do all types of eye surgeries. New technology is pretty traditional for our center. We are a research center. We Almost every laser uh, technology that's been developed on the cornea and the lens has been developed in our practice here in Kansas City. Matter of fact, that's why I moved here in Kansas City 20 years ago, was because of all the research and development that's done here. Uh, our community has lots of medical breakthroughs, and ophthalmology is one of them. So it's not unusual that we be getting this first in the country because this is what we do, and our patients really rely on that. And we do have patients that travel in from around because they always know we're going to have the latest technology. The nice thing about being a refractive surgery practice and not just a LASIK practice is there's lots of different procedures that can be done for, for vision correction. And what we need to do is look at the individual and where they're at not only if there's a congenital focusing problem like nearsightedness or, or astigmatism, but where you add in the uh, what we call dysfunctional lens syndrome. Your natural lens, uh, when we're young, is able to uh, zoom. That's what gives us the ability to see at near without glasses, without reading glasses, without bifocals. But that is aging every year. It's getting thicker and stiffer. And, and when you get into your 40s, like me, um, you start noticing things aren't as good. We do a lot of educating about what's happening with your lens where is it going to be in the next few years? And at some point, we're going to be able to show you that, that the best option for you long term is to have a lens replacement. So it's a very individual uh, evaluation where we're able to really customize the treatment for you, where you're at right now, but also looking to the future, what's going to give you the best outcome. Patients tell us they're always surprised at how easy the surgery is. But it's still surgery, it has to be done right, and it's something that we always, I always come back to the thing is you've got to be a good candidate first. 
If somebody's a really good candidate, these procedures are easy and safe and effective. But the preoperative exam is always that key to success, not only finding out somebody can have laser vision correction, but what is the best procedure for them? Because we have multiple different laser procedures nowadays, and that's what I enjoy when I'm working in the clinic, is kind of helping people and coaching them to get the best vision long term. And I don't want to get 10 years down the road and look back and have not planned properly. I want to do it all up front.